interesting and we start at home. Um, if, if we can develop a new division and try and either partner with a manufacturer or local manufacturer and license these products. I just wonder if sex toy users would want something as cliche and as, as male oriented as Playboy as a brand to buy from. They, they may actually want an obscure brand when they're buying a toy like that. Well, yeah. firstly, we're, we're not just marketing to females. And um, actually, it's females. The Playboy brand is actually quite strong in females as well because their lingerie line is doing quite well. Um, and a lot of this would be met, um, given to couples as well. It's not a natural evolution of their current business. They're just taking another step forward. Playboy isn't as male, dominant, uh, male dominated as it used to be. Now it appeals to much um, a broader demographic, although they may, they're mainly still adults, not kids. So. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Joseph, for the question. Uh, apologies, I have to work for the mix up in the team orders. Sorry about that. Uh, can we now have Kim Tornado, please? Come on. accessories. So since the world of sports, luxury sports cars and luxury yachts has always been in very strongly interlinked, so we think it's a good opportunity for Ferrari to extend its universe by designing a luxury yacht which can create the ultimate luxury experience for its core customers. And from the for back, sorry. From its uh, as a market point of view, the industry is now uh, changing because the purchase of a luxury yacht is now extended far beyond just a transaction. It's now it's more about a lifestyle choice. So it is not surprise for other luxury car makers so to also explain to explore this uh, um, high luxury territory. For example, as you see, this one is actually developed by Porsche collaborated with a Miami-based yacht manufacturer called Fearless and this one is from BMW Design. So actually the opportunity for, for Ferrari in this market is huge but also there are other uh, the arrivals that is already to exploring that so Ferrari don't want to get behind. That's why we suggest Ferrari should look into this, uh, this category. Next. So the future customer we think will be interested in this product will come from Ferrari's uh, top clients, which they have already established a long uh, re customer relationship, and most of them are going to be members for its exclusive VIP clubs, which the club then, if you want to be a club member, you get to own at least five Ferrari cars, which shows the strong loyalty of the customer. And the next time, my colleague, uh, Exactly, will tell you more about uh, what is the yacht going to look like and how we're going to approach the customers. So as you already know, our product is going to be a luxury yacht together with a limited edition of the 458 Italia. Uh, so what are we selling to our customers? We're selling them exclusivity. That's what they want. Therefore, we're going to only make 15 units, limited edition, and they're going to be available for the top VIP client clients of Ferrari. Uh, therefore, our marketing strategy is going to be focused on the launch event, and the press covers uh, will be our ma main marketing tool that will help us increase the brand's equity. This is a description of the product. Uh, these parameters, which are approximations, are we, we took them from a already existing judge called Strandcraft uh, 166, designed by Great Design. 
because we consider the, that the judge is actually the one that fits most with the Ferrari uh, spirit. So the launch event is going to be a presentation party in this exclusive and prestigious hotel called Jazz Marine, located in the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix Tour. Uh, the aesthetic is clear, so the Abu Dhabi is the home of the Abu Dhabi Formula 1 Grand Prix, which is a really significant symbolism mm -hmm. for the glorious days of the Ferrari Formula 1. Team. And also because of the, the Ferrari Pink Park recently opened in 2010, these two things together make the Abu Dhabi as the optimal place for a launch event of this magnitude. So, the one event... Okay, I think we, I should let the word to my colleague okay. that will give you for the information about the financial. Okay, uh, so as, uh, we ex uh, as my colleague has said, uh, we expected to sell a uh, 50 uh, yacht. The price is uh, 50 million euros each, and we estimated that uh, the cost per unit is uh, almost a third. So, 12.5 uh, uh, million euros for the product uh, for, for the production, and 3 million euros for the design. Uh, also, we need to consider the marketing campaign, 1.5 million for. Uh, the, um, for uh, the PR for the new proposition and also for the organization of the event uh, in Abu Dhabi. Uh, so uh, we expect a total profit of 560 million euros. Okay, um, our future market outlook. Uh, since uh, the yacht industry has been affected by the crisis, but now there are uh, some research that expected that the, uh, the revenue industry uh, in the five years' time will increase at the 7% of annual rate of growth. So we decided to start with this, this luxury yacht, but, uh, but um, at the end, start with the uh, offer, offer uh, some. Um, um, some other alternatives, for example, speedboat and also um, smaller boats that actually have been sold uh, without any uh, decre decline for uh, the downturn, for the for the output, uh, for the economic output. Thank you very much. Uh, that's all time we have. Uh, judges, five minutes. I really like it. It's quite well matched. Product like choice of the brand. I like the way that's presented. Will the yachts be manufactured by her and everything? Uh, no, because actually Ferrari doesn't own a yacht manufacturing uh, industry, so it would be outsourced, outsourced to a judge man a manufacturing company. But we decided that the, actually, since it has to maintain the Ferrari passion, the engine will be designed and manufactured exclusively by Ferrari. So I was going to ask about that and also in relation to your costing, I mean, are any of you engineers? Oh, yeah. I'm not an engineer, so, but <laughs> this is all pure speculation, but I mean, I think that designing a boat is different from designing a car, right? Because it's in the water rather than on the road. Mm -hmm. well, so, and I don't know if you want these boats to be really fast or just to look good or what kind of performance they're supposed to have. Uh, and yeah, so, so in terms of, again, you need a whole new set of components. Uh, can I ask you a first, yeah. answer first question? Mm -hmm. um, the purpose of Ferrari want to uh, generate this yacht is to extend its brand category. As I said, it will we'll add an extra add-on value for it to become a luxury high-end brand. Okay, but it's not just a brand like Louis Vuitton, right? It's, yeah. it's, a, it's I know. Yeah, look, it I know Ferrari representing right? the... So, so it's... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying that, if, you know, and, and also, if you, so if you want it to be a, you know, Ferrari is a good quality car. It's not it's nice to look at mm -hmm. or a nice color, you know. And it's, if you want to build a good quality boat, and I'm not sure if you want it to be based on comfort or speed or whatever it is. I mean, I don't, I don't know. So maybe it's comfort because it's a luxury. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't have a yacht, so I'm not good. But also, how many yacht manufacturers are there? I'm not saying, you're, I'm asking the questions, I don't know the answers, okay, so, but, you know, yeah, what well, I know about yacht companies, too, they, they may not want to cannibalize necessarily their own rent, which they also invest in one. Of course, of course. So, uh, so what, what's your question? Well, what, what is, you need, you need new competencies in, in Ferrari if you're going to design a boat mm -hmm. rather than mm -hmm. a car. 
top members, the 15 years, that's why we choose it's such a limited number. And we also want it to be a, just an introductionary item for let people know Ferrari now has another product, which is a luxury yacht. But later, for the future outlook, it will be developing a line of the product, which I said, it can have yeah, speeding boats. It, it, it takes you longer to develop this product yeah, and okay. cost you more than you think. Than you think. Uh -huh. So, and again, I only saw the numbers very quickly. So, you know, so I'd be interested to you know what you developed your financial estimates on, what assumptions uh, you okay. used to okay. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. So, in general, to manufacture a yacht, um, the final price, you have to estimate one third, mm -hmm. and that is usually the cost. Now, because we're talking about something that is really luxury and top niche clients, maybe, and of course they will have a specific, um, you know, they will want specific things, so we, not all of the yachts will be exactly the same. Yeah, but I'm not just so talking about manufacturing, I'm talking about designing it. For you designing. To manufacture. So designing the exterior and the interior. Everything. Everything. I don't know, just mean, yeah, I mean the, the engineering as well. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, actually, Ferrari has really, well, all the supercar uh, firms have a really good aerodynamics, which actually are really uh, they have a really broad knowledge about fluid mechanics. Okay. Uh, fluid mechanics also compresses the water. So actually, the design of boats is not that far away from the design of supercars. It's, it's all about the aerodynamic of the shape. And also, I would add uh, to the last question you talked about uh, who, will, uh, who, will, who will want to manufacture. Exactly. Uh, since the Ferrari is made in Italy, uh, there is the most famous uh, yacht produ uh, produ uh, producer is Ferretti, is made in Italy. So we want to keep going with the made in Italy. So, we, of course, uh, we. we yeah, want does Ferretti want to make boats for Ferrari and then have it compete with Ferretti boats? Well, we have the cause of yes, yeah, so we don't know. Well, no, but I mean, but even think about it. Like, did you do a bit of research on Ferretti and mm -hmm. see what they're kind of? Um, well, the thing is, for obviously, if there was an outsource of this product, uh, this Ferretti company, they would receive a recognizance of this and maybe a commission from the board. So it would not be a direct competency between both products. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Very nice. Thanks. Thank you. And now I have Kim Zeus, please. Come on. Kim Zeus, please. Come on. Kim Zeus, please. Come which is a luxury hotel. By luxury, I don't mean five star, I mean more, even more than five star. The idea is to de develop a hotel near a racing track. This is a motor racing track in Italy, which has races every year. And the idea is to have a hotel just situated behind the, the, the racetrack so that you can view